Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here rolling solo dolo on this Madden 20 Browns franchise rebuild. Uh, we're here at the Season 4 Season Review, folks. Uh, what we're going to do is just kind of go through the season real quick, where we're at, stats, etc., etc. If you do not know, we lost in the divisional round. We, basically what happened... Uh, end of the game, they, they, the Madden caused a, I had a fumble on like the eight yard line as I was running out the clock, trying to score to like go up by, go up by a bunch earlier in the game. There was already an issue where I scored a touchdown. It did not count the touchdown. And then I had to kick goal. It was weird. So then there's 24 seconds left on the clock when, when, uh, Houston takes over. And I simulate the defense. So they drove down in 24 seconds, kicked a field goal, went to overtime. They got the ball, ran it down, and scored a touchdown. I didn't even have a chance to touch the ball again. And they won and moved on to uh, – moved on. So, hey, that's why I simulate the defense. Uh, but anyways, we are going to go ahead and go through. I guess we'll start out here with uh, stats. We'll go through the, the, the team here. So – we had two quarterbacks this year. We had Will No Fear Greer and we had Nathan Hookland. Will Greer I traded for two seasons ago. He sat on the bench on Baker's last season. He came in, was doing pretty good. As you can see, almost 3,000 yards, 31 touchdowns, six interceptions. Then it came up that he wanted to sign. He's only like a 75 or 76 overall, maybe a little higher. He was $40 million for three seasons. I said, get out. So I put in my rookie who then uh, didn't do so well the first couple games, but he really came on near the end. Um, I don't know. I mean, Greer's going to be gone. Hookland will be there because he's a rookie. Not sure if he's going to start. I may try free agent or et cetera. Nick Chubb ran for 2,200, 26 touchdowns. I could not re-sign him again, but I did just franchise him. Uh, so he will be back again. Now, if I happen to find a free agent or I, or I draft a running back, I may trade him. But I think I'm just, at this point, I have so much cap space, and I use him so much, and my quarterback situation is like, eh, I'm just going to resign him for whatever he wants, which is not what I usually do. Receiving, who we got? We got Surehand Shurfield. Uh He's he's locked in. Uh, he'll be back. Jake Butt, I think he's back for another at least another year. O ODB, I'm, I think I'm going to put on the trade block. I think I'm going to get rid of him. And Mitchell. I'm not too crazy with either one of those guys. I mean, ODB just takes a lot of money and whatever. We'll see how that goes. Um, blocking, how did our offensive line do? How many sacks did we give up? Oh, a billion. Betonio's gone anyways. Um, Forbes is gone. So, I, I don't know. We'll see. I, the, the offensive line is always a challenge here. So, what do we got? Mac Wilson. Greedy Williams will be gone. This guy's gone. He's still there. Murray's gone. Cross is gone. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, so Taki Taki didn't even do that great. He's gone, too. So my defense is going to have a big, different look. Kicking, I had a, I had a guy I got rid of. Um, I had to sign Rhett Kramer in the middle. He did pretty well. He's very low-ranked, but he hit some big kicks. I re-signed him. I'm going to roll with him. I'll, I can always kick him and go from there. Punning, Corey Bajorquez, left-footed punter. I'm down. We're good with him. So kick return. Who we got? Rashawn Beckett and Quadri. Uh, let's see. Punt return. Beckett. Eh, decent, I guess. So, all right. So that's where we're at. I don't... I'm going to go ahead and check the yearly awards now. Then I'll check NFL records. I don't think we broke any records anywhere, but we will check. So, all right. Nick Chubb is the MVP, which is pretty pretty good. Uh, and, of course, I was coach of the year. Is that tough love? No. <laughs> tough low. All right. Uh, AFC. Um, and if you guys didn't know, the Oilers, uh, they, uh, I think the Chargers relocated to Houston. Anyways, so offensive player of the year, Nick Chubb, great. Defensive player of the year, no one on my guy, on any of my teams. Rookie of the year, Hook, Hookland is rookie of the, in, in the third best, man. I don't, I don't dig it, but whatever. Defense rookie of the year, nobody. Yeah, man, I'm, I need some best QB. None, neither of my guys are on there, which I don't, I don't blame you. None of them played well. Nick Chubb, of course. Any of my guys wide receivers? Sherfield. Boom. And I, I got him locked in. He's good. Offensive lineman. I do have some offensive linemen on there. I don't know. I don't know how that works. But defensive lineman, nobody. 
linebackers, nobody, defensive backs, Greedy Williams, but he'll be gone. My defense is what ended up costing me. Austin Siebert, that was the guy I had. The Patriots picked him up. Ha. Anyways. Yeah, man. So it's been a weird season uh, for you guys to follow my franchises. It's been interesting. So we'll go. Anybody break any records this year? What was this? 2022 pass yards. Nobody past TDs. Mayfield did a couple seasons. Rushing yard. Oh, Nick Chubb. He oh, he came inside. He didn't quite beat his his last year. So, all right. Where was he at in 2021? Was he that low? Holy crap. All right. I guess we had one year down two years ago. All right, rushing TDs uh, again. Nope, nowhere near. Did he? Is he make? Yeah, he made it. All right, cool. So, twenty six receiving yards. Nobody was even close on that. Receiving touchdowns. I just said that. I put the emphasis on the wrong syllable. Catches, of course. Nobody. We don't throw that many passes. What about games? Uh, nothing for passing yards. Past TDs, we did not set any records. Rushing yards, Chubb set it twice in 19. This year he had 284, which is, is honorable mention down the road. Rushing touchdowns in a game, nope. Wait, 2021, that was last year. He tied it. Uh, receiving yards in a game, no, that's, that's really hard. Touchdowns in a game, nope. So yeah. No, man, we didn't really do anything as far as uh, that stuff goes. So let's go ahead and what are we going to look at now? I guess we will see the schedule, um, league schedule, and we will go and we'll kind of look through the playoffs because I'm not even sure who won the Super Bowl. So in the wild card round, uh, let's see, the, Col the Colts lost to the Texans, the oh, Saints beat the Seahawks, the Bengals beat the Bills, and the Cardinals beat, or Cardinals lost to the Bears in the divisional. We lost in OT to the freaking Texans. Uh, the Panthers lost. The Panthers beat the Bears. Why am I saying everything backwards? 31 to 7. The Oilers beat the Bengals. And the Giants beat the Seahawks. The championship games. Oh, it was all Houston. And the Oilers beat the Texans. The Giants beat the Panthers. And in the Super Bowl, the Houston Oilers won against the Giants. So that's where that is. Um, and I will go ahead and go through and real quick and show you guys the final team because it's going to look a heck of a lot different because um, I will go through and show you everybody who's going to be gone. Uh, so what do we got? QB here, uh, Will Greer and Nathan Hookland. How many years do I have him left, to be honest? Because I might – because if he's already a 74 – contra. let's see, see – not season stats, awards – he was draft. Oh, I draft. Oh, he was a first round draft pick. God, I should really probably hang on to him, huh? I got him for 23, 24, 25. All right, man. That it makes it makes it hard not to keep him because I got him for three full seasons left. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, that that kind of puts things into perspective for me. All right, so let's see. We got Cheb. Penny's gone. Beckett. I drafted him. He's really low, but I'll keep him around. Uh, fullback Trey Madden is locked down for a while. He's the only player I will keep over 30. Beckham is 30. Actually, while I'm doing this, I want to go ahead and I guess I can't add him to the trade block. What is his? Is he? When's his contract up? He has one more year at $15 million, and I will absolutely trade him. Um, let's see here. Sherfield, I got him locked down. Chark is going to be gone. He was just kind of a pickup. Mil Mitchell probably gone. Quadri, I will resign. Harvey, I'll resign. I gotta see when their contracts are up. It might be this year. Uh, Jake Butt, he is getting up there. Um, but he, I mean, I'll keep him around. Uh, left tackle, he'll be gone. So this guy's gonna step up. Derek, Derek Matthews, which is great. Uh, Forbes is gone, but I got Peters to step up. Uh, Milkop is still around, but I got a couple couple guys down there. Right guard, Jimmy Leonard and Simon Fry. They're both around. And then I got Dalvin Johnson and Bevin. So, like, I, I have a young line. It's good. Lowry is gone. Oh, God, I really need to find someone there. Right end, Henry is going to be gone. I think he's probably gone. So, I definitely need a line. Uh, Ralph Hawkins is good. Puna Ford. So, like, my line, eh, deep, eh, it's okay. Toggy Toggy's gone, which means Stackhouse is going to step up. And we got Stallworth, who is not very good. Uh, Ragland's gone, but we're going to have Mac Wilson and Todman. And then Carl France. He's not very good either. Titus is still there. And we're going to have Malcolm Colvin, who we got here. 
Ooh, it'll be, let's see, Tremont Smith is going, and Dion, Donnie Lou. Ooh, Lindsey Lindsay Pipkins, 29. I, I, I worked him up. Uh, so yeah, we're we're gonna need some cornerbacks. We're gonna need uh, we got Redwine's gonna step back up uh, and, and come in. We have James Hollis around for a while. Kicker, he's bad. There. What's our draft pick situation look like? So we have two first round picks, fourteen and twenty eight, which is great. I I can use that. And then we have two seconds as well, but they're a little farther back. A third, one, two, three, four, five fourth round picks, which I'll probably trade. All right, cool. So I mean, I got a lot of draft picks. I'm real. I'm I'm gonna try to trade ODB, to be honest. Um, and then I'll show you guys who is gonna be gone. So all these players will be gone because I'm not gonna resign them. Uh, Rashad Penny, Chark, Griffin, Greedy Williams, Batonio, Ragland, Forbes, Lowry, Henry, Taki Taki. Uh, I will try to resign Taki Taki in free agency probably. Uh, Murray's gone. Seymour, Hubbard, and Greer. There's a lot of green boys in there that are going to be gone. So we will see how that turns out. But I just want to do a quick season room review. So that is all the time I have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. And if you've already done those things, you can help us out by sharing the content with your friends. But for Jonas, I will catch you here on the off-season video. But for now, I am out.